Hi, it's Matt. Today we're going to take a look at this gray colored APC that hides a nasty secret. You know, having a remotely operated machine gun is great for defensive purposes, but what if you really need to reach out and touch someone? Oh yeah. Not only does this baby pack missiles, but if the hood opens to reveal the engine, and around back it opens up to show four troopers ready to rock. We've also got a driver up front. Here's a look at the bottom of the vehicle and we'll flip it over to see the top view. Well, those of you who tune into my channel already, you probably know what's coming up next. Yep, to show you how I put it together, I'm going to take it apart. But actually, before I do that, I'm going to show you a feature I added to this that makes it a little bit easier to play with. And that is To add a joint here so I can actually open up this whole roof. There we go. I added a smooth piece with these two studs here to help hold it a little tighter, but I probably should have gotten rid of those so I could open it easier. Here's a better look at the inside. So you can see the guys are sitting back there with the missiles. I'm guessing it might get a little hot back there. Maybe a tad uncomfortable. It's kind of a view of how that tips up. You can lift up. Here's a closer look at that assembly. These missiles came off of that go-to kit. I seem to always rely on. These are kind of tight. I'll go ahead and fire those things off. I sent one of them off to an accordion factory. I wonder where the other one went. I guess we'll never know. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that whole panel off. That's what the whole roof assembly looks like. There it is underneath. A key to this door being able to open without running into things is to use one of these sloping pieces. You can see the driver inside when I take part of the roof off. There goes the rest. There's a look at the inside of that. On this side, I'm, I'm showing a pick. On the other side, I have a shovel. You can put whatever tool you want there. I forgot to feature these side windows where you can actually look in and see troopers Um, these are actually those pieces that are used to launch little disc things. I featured this on the front of one of my first armored cars. A SWAT team truck with all kinds of opening doors and panels. Please check it out. There's a link up above. Now let's talk about the interior a little bit. What I did is on either side of that central missile rail, I put some extra ammunition. And where a front passenger would go is where the missile guidance and radar equipment is located. Okay, let's pull the troopers out of the back now. You can see where I use these centering pieces as places to seat each guy. Now to pull off the back doors. The doors are actually connected with these arch pieces on the back. That's the inside of the door. And the outside.
Next to come out is the rail, which is articulated with these detents. That's all there is to it. Okay, driver, you're dismissed. You probably didn't want that warhead jabbing into your spleen anyway. I'm going to take this whole side piece off. Get that out of the way. And that's what the inside driver's side looks like. And there's the outside. Here's a perfect cross section of the hood and engine and windshield. You can see I used this jointed piece to make the windshield. Here's a better view of the dashboard and windshield. The hood is this pre-made piece here. It actually opens up even more. I use silver pieces to make the engine. Any ideas as to the source of this air cleaner looking piece and cylinder head? If you said it was the spare tire from this Bricking Trails Hot Wheels car that I featured, you're an absolute legend. Please check out the link to see how I turned this off-road vehicle into a fire truck. Now back to the build. We'll start disassembling the front of this vehicle. Okay, we'll pull this windshield and cowl piece off. That just drops down off of there. I'm just gonna pull this other side off as a unit. One last thing about it, the wheels up front actually uses an axle, but the other ones use this type of assembly. Well, that's as far down as I'm gonna take this one. I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I did designing it and building it. Please share, like, and subscribe. It's absolutely free and it really helps me out. I just hit 700 and I can't thank you all enough. I've recently done a whole series of APCs and AFVs, so be sure to check those out too. Thanks a lot, y'all. Bye.